Hello everybody and welcome. In today's video, I wanted to do something very different to the usual content that I upload, and that is talk about Easter eggs in Ubisoft's Rainbow Six Siege. The video you're seeing in the background is just some of the Easter eggs that can be found in some of the maps on Rainbow Six Siege. Now I'm not saying that this is all of the Easter eggs, there are a lot more to be found on these maps, but these are just some of the ones that I decided to show in today's video. Now you might very well be asking, Rich, why are you talking about Easter eggs in Rainbow Six Siege? Well, there is a very very specific and good reason for that which I will get into later but let's go through some of the easter eggs that we've already seen in these maps. The one you can actually see on screen now on the map house is a nod to the game Watch Dogs with a reference to the gym center in the poster. Next up onto the map Oregon you can see here is a nod to the map Hereford base obviously the old layout. On the same map there's this little radio in the bedroom here which has a rainbow six displayed with the numbers one two three four five six there a little nod to their own game. Next up we go on to Clubhouse and as you can see here yet another reference to the game Watch Dogs with these motorcycle jackets with the patches on with the Watch Dogs label. A really nice touch in that. I really do like all the nods to the other games. It really is a nice touch. And as you can see, there's quite a few of these jackets dotted around on this map. Next up, we head to the map Plane. And here we can see this logo over and over again, Miller's Rail. Miller's is actually another reference to the game Watch Dogs. And this time it was a bar that featured in the game. And it was also called Miller's Rail. Exactly the same logo as you can see here. Next up it's onto the map Bank and we're having a nod this time at the map Bartlett University. As you can see in the office here, there's a couple of diplomas on the wall which are a direct reference to the map Bartlett University. Also outside on the map of Bank, here is a nod to their own game Rainbow Six Siege. As you can see in this newspaper display here, it says good game. Next up, as you can see, we are off to Canal. And if you shoot an ash breach at one of the shipping containers in the background here, you can hear some screaming noises. Kind of hard to hear what's being said there, but nonetheless, there are noises. Next up, it's off to the map Chalet. And if you head down into the basement, I've never actually noticed this myself while playing the game, but all of the barrels here actually contain the Rainbow Six Siege logo with obviously the year it was brought out, 2015. It's on a lot of the barrels in here and I cannot believe I've never noticed it. Also, in the basement here, there is a possible nod to the map Favela, as if you can see this picture here is what looks like a picture of a favela. So this could possibly have been an early hint that we were going to be getting that map. This is what I love about Easter eggs. Next up, you're going to need to use your drone hardcore parkour skills because you're going to need to jig your drone up on this desk here jump up onto these little pigeonhole slots and ultimately you're trying to get up onto the air vent at the top of the room here. If like me your drone skills are not that good it will take you a few attempts to get up here but when you do you can clearly see there's a picture of three operators. Now it looks like those operators are Ash, Smoke and Thermite. Again, a really nice interesting Easter egg, but why would they put it there? Does it have any relevance? I'm not entirely sure, but I still just really do love the fact that they've put it in there. Now we're off to the map Skyscraper and this time it's a nod at the game Assassin's Creed. As you can see, a few of these armored statues placed around the map have this very interesting belt buckle, which is obviously a clear nod to the Assassins. Like I say, there are a few dotted around, so you can go and check these out for yourself. On the same map, if we head into the next room from these armors, here's a really interesting one because there's a few games placed on these shelves here and a lot of them in these multicolors say the name Rainbow, obviously a direct reference to the game we're playing. But interestingly here, you can see a few games including Assassin's Creed, Far Cry Primal, and Far Cry 3, and of course, again, Rainbow Six Siege. Really interesting that they would put that there. Again, on the same map is this drum. 
If you melee it, it will make this really nice drum ringing sound. I don't know if there's anything more to this. I tried hitting it in a certain amount of times to see if it would activate something, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Perhaps it's just there for the fun of it. And again, we head into this room on the same map again, into this gaming room or karaoke room. And you can see on the shelves here, there's an old school gaming console with the game currently in there being Rainbow Six Siege. And just to the right hand side of this old school console, you can see some more games, including the Division and Assassin's Creed. Next up is Bartlett University and some really interesting Easter eggs or references in here of maps. You can see Chalet there. Here, this one might not necessarily be an Easter egg, but I like to think it's paying homage because Bartlett University is placed in Cambridge, Massachusetts, where I'm from Cambridge, United Kingdom. And I like to think that one is a nod to our rowing team. And lastly here, you can see is a picture of what looks like the map Consulate. Really interesting that would be in there. Next up, we're off to the map Tower, and this could possibly be my favorite Easter egg on here, the Happy Birthday Cake to Ubisoft. You can see it's got the candles on there marking the 20th anniversary, and what you need to do for a little bit more of an Easter egg is melee this cake, smash it open, and you can see the barcode on the bottom of the tray says made in Montreal 1997 to 2017. There's also a few chibis located on this map that you will need to destroy some things, but really, really interesting that these are dyed all over the place. Again, do they have any relevance? I'm not entirely sure, but I really do love the fact that some of them are really well hidden and you've got to kind of think about it to find out where these are. Really, really interesting. And I do love these Easter egg hunting. This last one on tower is really, really taxing because you've got to break open this box, drop your drone down into it, and you can see, oh, there's nothing really in here. But if you destroy the books, it reveals a secret hidden tunnel. Now this tunnel leads into a secret room that you cannot get into as a player. And there's some really interesting things in here. I really recommend doing this in your own server just to have a look around this room and see some of the Easter eggs that are placed around here. And in here, we also find our last chibi on this map. Lastly, we're off to Villa. And if you head down to the south side of this map, you find this well and some very strange noises coming from it. Let's just take a listen. Now I do think some of those could be a direct reference to the outbreak, obviously, that we had. Lastly, head into the room here and take a sledgehammer, or you can shoot this little bit of clay here, and it will reveal a statue of the Lord himself, Lord Tachanka, looking mighty fine. And lastly, on the map Fortress here, we've obviously all seen these not too long ago, but I just wanted to show you again, in case you hadn't, there's a note in this box here that says tunnel under construction. We still don't really know what that means. And while I'm speaking of that, let's just say why I wanted to cover this video. I wanted to cover this video because Easter eggs are so underestimated, I think, in Rainbow Six Siege. We could potentially be missing out on a hell of a lot of information or hints to other maps, operators, gadgets, who knows what in these maps that we're not actually seeing. What I think would really be a good idea is if some of you that have got Easter eggs that I don't know about, please do let me know in the comment section down below or you can tweet me my twitter handle is at this is that's rich do tweet me some of the ideas or things that you think might be hidden in the maps that could lead to easter eggs that we've not seen before really interesting to hear your thoughts on this guys so like i say please do let me know and maybe we could get together an easter egg hunting team to really crack some of these easter eggs down i honestly do think we could be missing some vital information here about new stuff coming to rainbow six siege thanks a lot for watching everybody i do as always appreciate your time and until next time, goodbye.